Yiddish was commonly spoken among the older generation. The younger people, the uh, like people my age or my parents, didn't commonly speak it. But very often, the older people would be sitting on benches reading the Yiddish papers and speaking Yiddish. It was, it was a kind of a generational divide. I remember a lot of these, of course, during the daytime, most of the people around were the older women. The men were still working. And I remember some of these um, <clears throat> Yiddish women from the old country, especially during the winter, they liked to wear these um, coats of Persian lamb, black Persian lamb, very shiny, and they were warm. They, they were utilitarian, but it was also a symbol that they had made it, that they had accomplished something enough to own a coat like that. And, and they, um, they, they were humble people. Some of these women, their circumference was about the same as their height, but they were um, friendly, well-meaning people, especially toward children that they, when they saw a baby pram or carriage being pushed, they always hovered over it and um, had good wishes and for, the, for the kinder. And um, <clears throat> I still remember some of them. We, uh, we would call them Tanta, even though they were not in any sense related. 